Welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to discuss the 2019 RAM emission systems layout. My previous video, I had an image of the 2013 through 2018 emission system layout for uh, the RAM Cummins, um, as well as with Ford. The Ford was with 2011 through 2019, and even newer. It, there's no change you, for the Ford. You know, you got your dock, SCR, then your DPF, which is retarded. To do it that way but anyways the ram from 2013 through 2018 the system layout right you got your dock your dpf and your scr system for 2019 and newer it's the same layout but the system itself has been redesigned uh there's not a lot of imagery out there that i could find so uh i'm using a couple of images from like you know the debut of the truck um and I found some images off eBay, which will help. So from the turbo, you can see, uh, by the way, I'm not an expert. Hey, TFL, big truck, big RV, some of you other smaller, unknown truck enthusiast people that go to these truck events. How about you ask the harder questions like, what are the advancements in the emission system? Have there been refinement? in the after treatment system have there been changes in the materials used in the diesel oxidation catalyst the dpf and the scr what are the differences in the egr valve systems have there been upgrades to the egr cooler have there been programming upgrades to monitor the exhaust to conduct or when not to conduct a regen and so forth these things are more important than stroking a manufacturer's ego and just talking about 30, 35,000 pounds towing, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's common knowledge. That stuff's going to be well-known. What is unknown and not discussed is if there has been any advancements in the after-treatment system, in the whole emission systems. You guys need to start asking much harder questions and put the manufacturers on the spot. Okay, rant over. So this is a 2019 model, Ram Cummins. Okay, the EGR valve is different. I'm not sure what are the changes are with the EGR cooler, but I'm pretty sure it's that same, you know, you got your straight through cooler with fins that typically get clogged, right? The power stroke, I'll give the 6.7 power stroke this, beginning in 2017, they went from that, you know, straight, box-like fin type cooler to a tube-like design internally and that reduces clogging that's great that's a great idea um all right so from the turbo back here's your turbo down pipe you can see some egt sensors one two and another one right here you got your diesel oxidation catalyst right here your dpf and your scr system one thing that i noticed between this version versus the 2013 through 18 model is these filters look much bigger much much bigger all right so let's go to the next picture this kind of, this one's kind of blurry but you can see and excuse the picture it's kind of you know it's hard to look at but here's your turbo your downpipe your dock dpf scr all right this is a picture i found off ebay like a couple days ago here's your diesel oxidation catalyst your dpf and your scr system obviously this is reversed this bolts to here here's your turbo downpipe you can see egt sensor one two and three, so you got one before the dock, one in between the dock and DPF, and one after the DPF. You got another EGT, you have another EGT sensor right here. This, these tubes right here are your pressure sensors. This is your pressure sensor before, your pressure was, you know, this right here is the sensor, but these, this is the tube that the pressure is, you know, routed through, whatever. Pressure in, pressure out, and then over, this whole system from what I understand, I'm not an expert, also gives you your delta pressure, the difference between the two. All right, let's go to another image here. Here's a closer image. You can see that the dock and DPF are much larger. The exhaust as a whole is bigger. And you can see here the distance between the dock and DPF have increased from the previous model. You can go take a look at the other image from my other video. This is a little bit longer, but you know, that's okay because 
because the, the point is the dock and DPF are after the turbo, so it stays hot. You're, you're always able to stay in uh, passive region, which is important. Um, but the filters look bigger, and even the exhaust looks bigger. Just, just absolutely massive. I think that's a good thing because you can get more exhaust flow through the filters, and it'll take longer to clog or fill up as well. So I think that's a good thing for overall performance. But again, I'm not an engineer. I don't know if this is true. I'm just basing my I'm just basing my comments of based on my observations of what I'm looking at. I've been underneath my truck and these filters are absolutely massive. But TFL truck, hey, if you would go out and I don't know, ask some of these questions, that would be great. All right, this is your well, let's go to this photo. This is your inlet from the turbo, right? Turbo downpipe into your diesel oxidation catalyst goes through this little small gap into your diesel particulate filter, which is right here. This is your out of your diesel particulate filter. And then this is your SCR system. The exhaust goes from the diesel particulate filter through here. This is your diesel exhaust fluid injector. The great thing of the, the one of the benefits of the Rams exhaust system, having the SCR system last is your diesel exhaust filter doesn't get sooted up. The mixer inside and the filter inside doesn't get sooted up. That's great. Stays clean. And that's what you want. You want these systems to stay clean, not get all sooted. There's another picture of your, you know, diesel exhaust injector, fluid injector. You know, your NOx and your NOx sensor and so forth is your last EGT sensor. Uh, actually, that might be another one right here. That might be, yeah, I think this is EGT 4 and this is 5. So, and that's, uh, that's the last of it, the uh, pictures from eBay. Um, but overall, this is the entire system layout. So we'll count the EGT sensors one, two, three, four, and five. Um, same as the 2013 through 18, right? You have, I think, five EGT sensors as well. Um, but anyway, so that's my breakdown of the 2019 and newer Ram Cummins emission system. Uh, summary, please, TFL. I challenge you to ask harder questions and stop stroking manufacturer's ego. Second, this is just my observations from what I, for what information I can gather online. But I'm not an engineer, okay? I don't know everything. I'm trying to present the best information that I know at the time because I know someone out there like me wants to know these questions. They want to know these answers. They want to know what's going on with their mission system. Because it's not just about looks and all oh, the truck is pretty and it's got all kinds of leather and all kinds of real wood. I want to know what's going on under the skin, under the sheet metal. I want to know what's going on with the emission system and how things work. So that kind of stuff is important to me because that plays into the overall reliability of the truck, especially if there's been refinements in the after treatment system from the EGR cooler, EGR valve, your dock, DPF, SCR, the whole shebang. I want to know what the advancements are, if there, ha if there are advancements. So anyways, there you go. Hope this is helpful.